This is the Warinum ZQ02360 Moving Head DJ Light. I knew nothing about professional lighting systems before today, but sometimes you just have to jump in with both feet. This is almost 25 pounds of iron, plastic, and glass, so forgive me if my grip is a little shaky. This device has a 150 watt light source, plus these 24 RGB lights ringing around the aperture. This can display six different colors plus white light. And if you choose, you can also display a pattern. There are six to choose from or no pattern at all. And if you want, you can take that pattern and split it into three identical patterns with the prism. This light supports panning and tilting, and you can choose the speed of both. This light comes with a power cord, a mounting bracket, and a ridiculously terse operator's manual. Strobe effects are supported, and you can control the speed of the strobing, if that's a word. This light is somewhat usable straight out of the box with nothing else needed through the use of this menu, but I really don't recommend it. It's uh, not documented well. This crinkled up pamphlet is what I received for documentation, and it's mostly a table of functions. And, uh, it's not... It's not very user friendly. <laughs> it, if you're if you're like me and you have no experience with lighting, I think you're going to need more help than this provides. I do not recommend using this light as a standalone device. Instead, I suggest using its built-in DMX functions and adding a DMX control panel to your kit. What is a DMX control panel? Until recently, I had no idea, but this is the cheapest one I could find. You can spend a lot of money on a DMX control panel, but I did not. And I don't know if the expensive ones are a different experience. All I know is this one, this is the only experience I've had with DMX, but it's not that hard. And once I figured out what the DMX control panel did, this chart started to make sense. I'm sure most sensible people already are experts in DMX before even looking at a light like this. But if you're like me and you just ordered it willy-nilly with no prior knowledge, it's not that difficult. I'm sure you can figure it out. I did. I took like an hour. If you have ever used Lego Mindstorms, Turtle Graphics, Excel Macros, anything, any kind of programming at all, this will not be a problem for you. There are only 16 different commands and the program is just putting them in whatever order you want and basically choosing the speed or effect. It's not difficult. Of course, the real power comes if you have more than one of these. Then you can have them all doing the same thing or all doing something different or some combination of the two. When you see this in person, it feels like pro gear and I don't know anything about this stuff, but it I, I don't I don't know how it could be any better. I can see this being used at weddings or clubs or any kind of venue that you have. Elevate your next party. It's fun and it's easy and it's super cool. But remember, you're going to need a DMX control board and you're going to need a three pin DMX cable. Take it from a novice. The Warinum Moving Head DJ Light is awesome. I'm going to give this a five out of five stars. Thanks for stopping by.